Aloha. Hey, what's up? It's Anjali. <laughs> um, I am here in Colorado still. I have been here for about four years. I can finally um, speak without crying. Woohoo! Uh, I came out here to help my best friend of 27 years. Uh, he had come to Florida and invited me out to help at his farm and um, passed away just two weeks after I got out here. Um, and then I had a bit of a mental breakdown. I had a horrible PTSD after that. Um, I couldn't really leave my five mile radius. So I got stuck really. And then, uh, it was probably a pretty good thing that I got kicked out of his house, even though his family said I could buy it. Um, and I did all the fire mitigation on the lower, like three acres of the property. Uh, but that's okay. So I got kicked out of there, got evicted, um, moved into a tent, then moved into a camper, then, um, moved into a cabin, got illegally evicted from the cabin. Um, there was a certain individual, which is a whole other story, which I'll share soon, um, that had gotten me kicked out of that place. And then I ended up moving to a new town about three and a half hours, four hours away, and came here to uh, work with a CBD company and they um, got super busy. So I, while I was waiting, I ended up uh, getting jumped by a 23 year old because I had called animal control about a neighbor's aggressive dog that had growled at my dog and was off leash on one of those little boop, boop, electric uh, uh, leash things. Yeah, the shock collar. So the guy was using a shock collar and didn't even um, bother to train his dog. So that's probably what was making it aggressive. Uh, anyway, long story short, um, I got jumped by a 23 year old and then I ended up going to jail after I came back from the ER. Uh, they said uh, allegedly that I fought back with a uh, frying pan, but I probably, I was so wasted that night because I'd relapsed twice while I was at that campground. Um, because of the stress of just not having a job and, um, well, cause the dog had, I just had problems with that one neighbor. And then after I got out of jail, which was really actually good for me, ironically, no evil shall prosper. Um, after I got out of jail, I've been, uh, in this constant, just court battle, just crazy. And then I fell and broke my nose right here. It's pretty straight still considering mm -hmm. mm. got a little scar on my lip and then uh, uh so i moved away from that campground where i got jumped because it was super scary and there were bullies and they were mean to me uh i think it's just because i'm autistic i don't know i didn't really do anything um but god is good and always protecting me so um i moved to a new campground and then i had a check mailed to the management who actually um, is fraudulently <laughs> renting out this property and the actual owner is living in Texas. So I'm trying to find the actual owner because he said I could stay and that the lady had bullied him um, and that he didn't want to deal with it in court. So now I'm dealing with it in court um, because I'm done with bullies, man. Bullies. No, no. God says, you know, gotta stand up for what's right. So I will, and I shall, I shall continue to do so. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, my film, uh, the Dry Tortugas film, uh, Guardian of the Gulf, and the series is taking off. I'm super stoked for that. Um, it's been a while. I mean, I, I, I've been writing um, this whole time. I just uh, been trying to stay alive too. So that's the main mission. My electric got cut off because I refused to pay a bully. And plus she had stolen a thousand dollars from me because I had the check sent to her and then she didn't give me the money back. And I was like, well, how's that? She said, well, you have to give me a 30 day notice. And I said, no, I just have to go to court and then I'll figure out if I'm going to go from there. Cause I don't have a lease here, but like I had to leave the other place because, um, I was scared and I didn't really have time to like think it through. I just moved over here and, uh, I still have no, um, driver's license because I had gotten a check bounced last year 
um, by Exit Realty in Pagosa. Um, I had cleaned a house and then they bounced a check and then my bank account got closed. So I couldn't um, pay for my um, birth certificate to be mailed and also my marriage license because it's really difficult to get a um, ID without an address and without my birth certificate and without a credit card. So um, just keep me in prayer. I am sure that God will work it out because he always does. And uh, I've had a 100% success rate so far. And my face is healing up fast. And otherwise, um, everybody out here is pretty nice that I've met otherwise. So keep me in prayer. Aloha. Shaka. Peace out. <laughs> oh, Mahina's doing really well too. Love my doggy.